Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Let's Play Zelda Classic. I am your host, Melee Wizard, but before we get into this, from my perspective, this story has a bit of a tale to tell. I was originally planning on doing this quest after Isle of Rebirth, but uh, Zodiac came up and that one took precedence. From there, I shuffled my list around a bit, and I was planning on doing this quest after Temples of Turmoil. Then, that, it was at that point that I was informed that the quest was getting significantly updated. So I decided to hold off on it until it was done. But that time has arrived. Welcome to Let's Play Quest for the Hookshot 2 by Moosh. <laughs> uh, I have played this quest before, back when it first came out three years ago. Holy crap, it's been three years. But enough stuff has been added and or changed that I am considering this a blind run. Let the insanity begin. Welcome. Link's quest for the hookshot too. Before we begin, I like to be able to. There we go. Okay, like to give you a couple choices. First, would you like to play legacy mode? I. Uh, let me get back to that. Hold on. Okay, there we go. I'd like you to make a couple choices. First, would you like to play in Legacy Mode? Some of the bonus dungeons from the original version were deemed too unfair and replaced in the update. If you select Legacy Mode, it will switch them back. If you want a fair game experience, select Standard Mode. To make this clear, if you are new to this quest or this update, select Standard Mode. This is where much of the new content is. Okay then, alright, yeah, Standard Mode it is. Secondly, what difficulty would you like to play on? This only affects enemy damage and you can change at any time. Anarchy Mode is a joke difficulty. It replaces most projectiles with wind. So don't try that one, or you'll regret it. Um... Uh, oh my, um... Let's make things in make things interesting. Okay, now we're ready to begin. Open the game! Hi there, the name's Link, and recently my life has been somewhat of a train wreck. Just last Thursday, I fell into a strange portal along with my girlfriend Zelda. The portal led to a parallel world where money was scarce, and to make matters worse, Zelda was kidnapped by parallel world Ganon. And of course, the only way to save her involved a long and convoluted side quest to get a hookshot. I swear I've collected at least ten of those things this year alone. I know the feeling. So anyways, I got the hookshot and saved Zelda and stole all the world's money, and then this jerk named Poek showed up and kidnapped her again. So I beat him up and saved Zelda, and she promptly got kidnapped again. So that's the third time this week. I got knocked unconscious, and when I woke up, I was in another parallel universe. Or maybe the same one years later. I'm not sure myself. So then this random old guy tells me that the only way to save Zelda is to collect seven moral compasses and defeat Sin. And I generally get the feeling that I'm not in Xanarkand anymore. So now here I am on another fetch quest, and I swear that if Zelda gets kidnapped again, I'll... Oh, for the love of God, that old geezer nabbed all my stuff, too! I knew we should have vacationed in Canada. Oh my, okay. Uh, 
Oh, there's someone here. Okay. Hey, are you looking for that old man that ran off just now? That old man... That's old man blank slate. Appropriate. He's somewhat of an eccentric. He has a thing for taking away people's late game gear. But then he doesn't tend to hang on to the stuff he steals, so it's probably gone for good. Anyways, you don't look like you're from around here. You should come to my village. It's just a little ways northeast from here. Follow me. Um, I want to go in here first. Never mind. Okay. And I do give, have a map. Good. So, as I said before, I have played this quest before, but apparently the entire overworld has been overhauled along with a whole bunch of other things. Including this, which I really don't have any rem rem remembrance of. Uh, are you going to give me a sword? Oh, hey, I didn't catch your name back there. Link, is it? Pleased to meet you. I'm Satan. Lovely. Oh, no, no, no. That's not like... It's not like that. It's pronounced Satan. Of course. Don't worry. People get it mixed up all the time. Anyways, I feel pretty bad that your stuff got nicked back there. It's no replacement for what you lost, but here, have this sword. At least you'll be able to survive out there. All right. I imagine you'll want to get back to wherever you came from. The best way will probably be be collecting the seven moral compasses and crossing through the sinner's citadel. But that's quite the task. I suspect it'll be a quest of potentially world-saving magnitude. All right, then. So I've asked a friend to help you on your way. If you see a tablet in a dungeon, speak to it, and he may give you some mostly useless hints. But at least you're up front with that. Eh? Okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this place has a map too. Nice. Uh huh. Well, at least I can see. What? Okay. That's not really a song I, that rings a bell, but okay. Well, it makes the job easy for you, huh? Okay. How about you? Old man... Man hand... Man... Man hand... Okay. Is that how Manhandle is normally spelled? Because I don't see that spelled very, in text very often. Comes here from time to time to get supplies. Always wearing many layers of clothing. Uh huh. At least you're upfront about that. The weapon remover? If you have a special weapon that you don't want, I'll take it off your hands for you. So apparently there's, in this updated version of things, there's new weapons, which I'm looking forward to seeing. You must go forth and defeat the seven beasts that plague this land in order to rescue your princess. Ye oh, it was you. Says you! I want my stuff back, darn it. Designed a diabolical dungeon in a tabletop. We've been playing it recently called Hilda Modern. It was a diabolical maze made up of teleporters, darkness, fake floors, and doors that take you to random places. But I showed him. I drew up a map! But it took me three times longer to make the map than it took me to clear the dungeon. <laughs> uh, is there anything else around? Like a shop or something? Uh, 
Ah, another guard. Been to the Aerith Islands. A chain of floating islands held up by lost technology from back when the world below was the world below was still inhabitable. Why don't we why don't we understand this ancient technology, you ask? Well, when your village is being raided by monsters, preserving your libraries is hardly a high priority. Yeah, survival trumps a lot of things, I bet. Uh, I feel like I should know what FFCs mean, but I'm not 100% sure. Hello, um. Church of the Holy Gust, okay. Church used to be the Church of the Holy Game Design, then somebody showed definitive proof that our world is inherently imbalanced. Now what they preach here is kind of nutty. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Maybe. Long ago, an object fell to our world from the heavens. It was a seed of conflict, a chaos spire. And from it blew the winds of anarchy. Monsters swarmed forth from it and overtook the world below. This seed is now what we call the Sinner's Citadel, where the father of all monsters, Sin, resides. In order to live in this world, his world, we must allow ourselves to be swept up in the winds of anarchy, become like monsters ourselves, and through this, become undetectable to them. Legend of the Seven Heroes Once there were seven heroes who set out to defeat the father of monsters, the great Sin. They succeeded, in a sense, but to resist the winds of anarchy is a si Sisyphean task. One finds oneself sent back to the beginning over and over without end. Thus, from sin, seven powerful monsters were born. What was once one threat to the world was now seven, and the heroes perished in the process. Some say their spirits still haunt the world below, tied down by their regrets. Okay. Well, as long as you, you're, you admit it, I am known as the Deacon of Difficulty. The forces of chaos have given me power over the levels of difficulty of the world. I can change them for you for a price. Forty rupees is my price. No. Nice to know where that is, though. And I... I, I obviously see the heart container there. But I am not going to pick that up just yet, because in the original version of this quest, there was a bonus dungeon that pretty much required me to be, to, in order to actually get the final reward, I needed to not pick up any heart containers at all. And before I pick that one up, I want to make, see if that one dungeon is still around, and if that requirement is still there. Yes, and I know there was level one way back there, but I've spent enough time in this early goings that uh, I at least want to see more of the world and see what's what can be done, what can't be done, that whole, that whole thing. Konami Grove. Whoa! Okay, that was kind of mean. Well, at least I'm getting a good bit of money for whatever. And this is a map, a uh, maze area. There will probably be a clue for that later. If anything, I'll probably talk to Moosh after this and just confirm, make sure whether that one dungeon. I keep forgetting. I forgot that you were still there. I'll 
probably talk to Moosh and see if that one dungeon that I'm thinking of is still a thing. And if... If the, uh... Requirement is not there anymore. I will go ahead and grab that one heart container, but I'm I'm not going to risk missing out on something major. At not at least not if I can help it. Uh, okay, so with that, might as well. F now I've still got a bit of time. Might as well see see what this place has in store for me. And we got Dark Nuts! Right off the bat. Speaking of which, I'm wondering what that one... that was about. Come on. Thank you. Hello, Link. I am Old Man Manhandler. And I will be your guide on this quest of yours. The deadly sin of pride is so full of himself he doesn't bother to hire playtesters. Beware, even your surroundings want you dead here. Okay. Ah! That's... Got the compass. Unfortunately, it's not a moral compass. Uh, so is the other ones gonna pop up too, or is it just those two? Not that it's a required thing, apparently. Oh boy, I'm going to die. I realize that I had put this on hard mode. And that said it would be doing more damage. So I really have no one to blame for this but myself. Ah, there we go. Oh my, that's a lot that's a lot of items. In potentia. Uh Oh, I do get a That makes me wonder, but oh well. Oh dang, the bats come back too. Yeah, at least I can kill them before they become a become an issue. Ah, the map. Yep, and one thing I appreciate in this quest, the maps are very detailed. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yep. Ah! Uh, well, might as well see what we got here. Oh, yay. But, thankfully, I have Slash. I thought I was gonna be able to dodge that one, but oh well. Although, you know what? Now that I have bombs, I think that one dungeon that I was that I was referred to, I seem to recall it being here. Ha ha! Danger free dungeon. Problematics? Rooms in this dungeon will come with a rating scale ranging from 1, easy, to 5, problematic. This rating scale will take into account both gameplay and psychological difficulty. Many paths are optional. So if things start to get problematic, feel free to turn back. Hello there, my name is Samuel Strawman, and I am the designer of this dungeon. If there's one thing I hate, it's difficulty of any sort. Easy mode isn't easy enough, am I right? As such, my life's goal has been to design the most non-threatening dungeon possible. 
Here in this dungeon, nothing will threaten you. Nothing will burn the straw right off your butt. Everyone's a winner. Is this not paradise? Um, uh, right. That is definitely not what I remember. Uh, but at least now I had my con suspicions confirmed that there was something there. Alright, so back into here. Darn you. Can you drop me health? No? Okay. Well, at least I got some health back. <laughs> I like the slash so much. Nothing else, I at least gonna grab this dang key. I have a feeling nothing else is I ha I have a feeling there's nothing else there. But, oh dear. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, this. Ha! You didn't get me. Get me that time. <laughs> that requires some reflexes there. Yeah, and the doorway is not safe from those things. So I'm wondering if there was... Okay. At least now that I'm... I guess more aware of things, I... What the heck is this portal for? I don't trust it. Dongos, and I already used up a couple of my keys. Oh. Okay. Give me health, please. Darn it. And there is the big key. At least the bats drop stuff. Okay. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Yes! That still works! Thank you so much! Aquamentis, Deadly Sin of Pride. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear! <laughs> Hard mode, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my. Ah, 
but the fairy responds. Why, thank you. There we go. And I'm going to hold off on picking that one up too. Uh... Until I get my thought, my previous thought confirmed. Oh, and it just kicked me out right there. Okay then. So I know there was that one grave that I couldn't do anything with. Maybe I needed to bomb that. Maybe I'll. I'll do some investigating and like I said, after if it turns out that that one dungeon is not a, the thing that it used to be, I'll go ahead and pick up those two heart containers. Looks like I'm going to need them. So I guess until next time, this is Melee Wizard and have a nice day.